Hello, everybody. For the final time, you're on the mic. So this is going to be the last roundup, as it were, for for the on the mic segment. As you guys know, I've been doing them now for a little over a year now. Started back in the first week of July of last year. This, of course, is episode 275. Um, so I wanted to just give you guys a heads up with this being the last episode, give you a heads up on what's going on and how I'm moving forward. You know, um, as I've been mentioning this week and with, you know, I decided to try some live streaming. And I am, I've decided to transition to a live stream format in which I'll be live streaming Monday through Friday, five nights a week. Um, hopefully you all will join me. We can discuss, you know, and the reason I decided to do it is for a couple of reasons. One, I think overall, tons of my presentation and stuff like that, I think I do better. I think I would do better as a streamer than as just doing the stagnant videos um daily you know when i have that kind of back and forth you know it's a lot easier to to um to engage also um one of the other reasons is as you guys notice a lot of times i'm just doing on the mic segments, I was just do, you know, I was picking one topic. Some sometimes I'd have more than one topic, but generally speaking, I was doing one topic. Plus, of course, with the with the um, this day in each history stuff as well. Um, you know, that can get a little time consuming. You know, I figured. I would present that all better in a live stream format, you know, with, with, you know, with being in a live stream format, maybe in aiming for, let's say, a runtime anywhere between an hour and a half and two hours, you know, I can cover more, more story, you know, I can cover more ground, I can cover more topics, you know, whereas I'd only cover one a day with, with the videos I was doing, maybe I cover, maybe I cover two or three plus, Plus the plus the this day in each history, which I still will be holding on to because I know I I like doing those. I like kind of going back through history a bit and looking you know looking back at some stuff. I know at least one of you out there um, is appreciative of that too. I'm sure many of you are. You know, um, going back particularly to your childhood and. Looking back, whether you know, remembering old cartoons that you may have watched when you were a kid, or thinking back to some of the old animes you used to watch, you know, maybe you grew up watching Toonami and thinking back to those days, or, or even you know, looking back to whatever you know, whatever comics or manga you grew up reading, you know. Um, I figure in a live stream format, I can cover more topics, um, have more engagement with people, and. As I mentioned too, one of the things I have been working on, I still have no confirmations yet, but hopefully, um, hopefully, you know, on Fridays I'll be able to have some panels going. I have some other YouTubers invite some other YouTubers on to, you know, have, you know, do interviews and or have discussions with, um, you know, work, working, you know, working on, working on. I mean. I'm doing my part. It's just that getting them to either respond to me and or, you know, agree to come on, you know, that, that's a total another story. You know, that's something I don't have control over. But what I was thinking about today, too, is if I couldn't get the guest on I want, what I might do, too, on Fridays, I might open it up to you guys. You know, if I can't get some of the other YouTubers to come on to to chat. Maybe I'll bring you into the studio to chat, you know. Um, we can talk about some stuff. Yeah, the panel. So, hope you guys will look forward to that. Now, as I'm moving forward with this channel, too, as I said, for the daily segments, I'm, I'm transitioning to more of a live stream format. 
you know, um, a little further detail. Monday through Thursday will be basically, you know, I'll may talk about a few, you know, some niche topics, you know, what, you know, what I'll probably be doing throughout the day is maybe keeping up on like what some of the others are covering and then, you know, I'll give my spin on the lot on my own live stream on that. Um, and then as I said on Friday, be doing the, um, the panel, the panel um, discussions. Um, even though the on the mic stagnant videos, those are, are being retired as for, for the live streams. The the main title for the my live streams will be the mic stand. Um, you know, because I think if any any of you out there who've ever done performances, you know what a mic stand is. It's basically, the stand that the mic is usually put on. So you know, so um, that's where that title comes from. Um, now, aside from, of course, the live stream five nights a week, I still will be doing the feature videos as well, like like the ones I'm currently working on, like Voices Big and Small, the, the VA profiles that I've been doing. And I will also be doing, of course, um, I'm right now, of course, working on Squared Circle Calendar, which is a pro wrestling historical retrospect. I hope, some of you, I hope you guys have been enjoying those. Um, I have some other ideas for... For the future as well for those but basically moving forward we'll be doing we'll be going live five nights a week the mic stand will be the main title and then of course i'll have subtitles throughout the week you know but they won't but i won't have an individual subtitle for every single show each show each like now there there will be day you know each daily day will have a subtitle but but it won't be like it won't be like with the on the mic with the subtitle. In other words, so on the so like Mondays will be machination Monday machinations. Tuesdays will be Tuesday talks. Wednesday Wednesday words. Thursday Thursday thrive, and then Friday the Friday night forum. Of course, the Friday night forum being the idea of the panels. So and and as I said, I I am going to try to organize some panels. Hopefully, I can get some guests on, but if I cannot, I might just bring some of you on to to um, engage with. So, um, so I hope you guys will look forward to that. Um, so that's pretty much what's going on moving forward. You know, we'll have the mic stand, we'll have voices being small, we'll have. Um, the squared circle calendar, uh, some, maybe some other feature presentations down the road. Um, and just in case I didn't mention it before, um, I will also be continuing the, the This Day in Each History segments on the live stream. So hope you guys hope you guys will come by and check that out. So with all that being said, and speaking of which, let's go ahead and move on to the next part here, which is this day in each history. So today, of course, is July, the, th the last day of July. Um, so we'll, of course, Monday when I come back, um, we'll be doing the live stream. Um, so let's look back on this day in each history. Okay. So, looking back seven years ago today, on this date in 2013, DC Comics on their vertical imprint released Collider Number One, uh, the Paradigm Shift Part One. Collider One Number One, of course, will would be would eventually become um, would eventually become. Um, the Federal Bureau of Physics. It would eventually become the Federal Bureau of Physics starting in November 2013. Um, but on this date in 2013, in fact, the Federal Bureau, okay, so that's another very, 
So that's the second. So Collider Number One, which would become the Federal Bureau of Physics (FBP), would would come out on this date in 2013. On this date in 2013. And then, on this date, 2015, there were a couple, few things that happened. First off, um, one, one of the things, one of the more unfortunate things that happened on this date in 2015 would be the, um, would be the unfortunate passing of Rowdy Roddy Piper. Uh, Roddy Piper, of course, was a WWE Hall of Famer, known, of course, as the original trash talker, known for his for his uh, Piper's Pit segments. Probably considered one of the best talkers in the business, and a pretty good wrestler in his own right. You know, um, would main event a few, a number of 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 um, he'd main event a number of times opposite Hulk Hogan. Um, so on this date in 2015, Roddy Piper, the, known as Hot Rod and the Rowdy Scott, would pass away on this date in 2015 as I at the age of 61. As I recall, I believe he died of a heart attack, I believe. So let me just put there. Man had quite a long history. I mean... What a lot of you probably don't know is that his, um, um, you know, he, um, let me see, I'm trying to. Yeah, on July. Oh, he died in his sleep in his home in California. Um. Yeah, his he died in his sleep. Um. He um his death certificate his death certificate to its um his death to cardi cardiopulmonary arrest caused by hypertension. You um. Basically, he developed a pulmonary embolism, which caused him to have a cardiac arrest, I believe. So, that's basically what it came down to. So, so first off, on this date in 2015, which is five years ago, was the passing of Rowdy Roddy Piper, Hot Rod, the Rowdy Scott. Also, on this date in 2015, the, the anime adaptation of the Chinese sci-fi horror mystery um, manhua, manhua, which I believe is a Chinese version of manga. Um, the anime adaptation concluded its run on this date in 2015. Dine, um, the Chinese, the an anime adaptation of the Chinese manhua um, Die Now finished its run on this date in 2015. So, with all that being said now, um, with all that being said now, I'll say this on the stagnant version for, of course, the last time here. Um, if you guys would like to contact me directly, you can um, you can you can direct message me on my Discord. I usually reply back as soon as I can. Check out the Discord and, and um, join if you'd like. Um, I'm also promoting, of course, a bunch of different dub companies. Um, you know, there's a lot of work out there. You guys can check out. You know. Um, a lot of great work. And a lot, you know, Fun Amazing, after all, is not the only game in town. Um, contrary to what they might want you to believe. 
Um, also, um, still promoting Vic's GoFundMe as well as that Umbrella Guy and Little Umbrella Girl's um, latest comic adventure that was still going on. I was where they were still doing it until recently. Um, as always, guys, never feel like you have to donate. If you have the means to, it's on your heart to do so, please consider donating. If you've already donated, please consider donating again. And if you cannot donate, you can still help out the cause by sharing the link. Sharing is caring. You never know. Maybe somebody in your circle of friends may want to help out. It doesn't, doesn't hurt to ask after all. Um, and if you like this content, I, I ask that you please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I always look forward to the conversation with you guys. As long as they're civil and respectful. Um, also, I hope to see you guys later on tonight for the, for the, um, for the, the for the voice actor premiere, uh, premiere episode. This week, I'll be, I'll be, um, this week, of course, I'll be, um, talking about, I'll be highlighting New York-based voice actor J. David Brimmer, a.k.a. Michael Austin Bailey. Most noted, most noted for his work as, you know, for being the English voice of Odeon Ishtar in the Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Come find out what other work he's been in that maybe you guys might want to check out. So, um, so with that, um, and don't forget, this Monday, I'll be going live at 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern. As we take it to the mic stand. So I hope to see you guys tonight at the at the VA profile premiere. Voices big and small, J. David Brimmer. If I don't see you there, I hope to see you on Monday as we take it to the mic stand. Bye.